The other day we had this funny comment from this guy about how many Walmart bikes we had. And I kind of chuckled and laughed at it a little bit and was like, you know, we do. I just don't want to buy the kids expensive bikes, yada, yada, yada. We travel for a living, man. Give me a break, okay? Yeah. If you've been watching, you know that we recently sold the van, so we don't have a good place to carry them anymore. Welcome back to the second video in our Trick My Trailer series. In our first video, we took you to Cliff's Welding in Mesa, Arizona, where Moride hooked us up with an all new suspension, wet bolt kit, and cross members to strengthen the frame. We also had Cliff's replace and upgrade our leaf springs, brakes, and axles to basically set us up with an all new, safer undercarriage. If you're looking to upgrade your RV like we did instead of buying something new, make sure to watch all four videos in this series as we'll be covering the cost breakdowns and reviews of each item in our final video. And now on to upgrade number two, a new hitch receiver for our bike rack. With Cliffs squeezing us in and all the other things that they have done for us, I decided to see if I could squeeze a little more. So I told them the predicament that we were in with the bikes and wanted to see if there was any way that they could put a hitch on the bumper or something. And they promptly informed me that no, that bumper was crap and only designed for holding a sewer <laughs> tube. So I asked if there was anything else they could do and they said, you know what? We can build you one. <laughs> and that's exactly what they did. They built us a custom hitch so that we could carry our bike rack and all of our Walmart bikes. Right. They're, now, they're not all Walmart bikes. Just they're not for all the record. Walmart bikes. <laughs> now, being a travel trailer, you cannot put another vehicle like a towable on the back of one. I think it may have been done out there, but Cliff's promptly informed me that this was just going to be like a 350 pound hitch, only designed for carrying small racks or bikes or something like that. But for us, this is exactly what we needed. It was perfect. Yeah. Building up the uh, the hitch. He's building the hitch for us right now. Looks good, man. Good morning. We're heading out to the parking lot because we have to empty out my van. <laughs> Yeah. One way or the other, the van is not coming with us outside of Phoenix. So off-road minivan is no longer going to be a thing. Off-road minivan because has, it's been the off-road minivan. <laughs> because you probably shouldn't take a minivan off-road. You know the funny thing is though, <laughs> if it was just the suspension stuff in the front, I think we'd fix it. It would be fine. But yeah. it's not just that. It's yeah. also the. It's the mice problem. That's really what's killing it more than anything, I think. Yeah. Thank you, love. Oh, that was so sweet. Get the door for the lady. That was so sweet. Right out here. Uh, this lifestyle is really rough on vehicles. We are really here. rough on vehicles. I'll pull your van around. Don't you feel like this, these are like funeral flowers <laughs> all over my van? <laughs> Well, he got it to start. Hallelujah. To move all of our bikes off of the van and put them right here. Ta da! The, the trailer's gonna look so different now when I'm following behind you eventually with the bikes on it. Yeah, yeah. We may have to move the spare tire cover over too. Yeah. A little bit. I think we need to get an NOP tire cover. Well, that's a good idea. You know, it was interesting when we were at Cliff's and 
um, I was starting to film some of this process. I didn't watch the whole thing because I didn't want to be there. They, you know, were kind of being cautious and you know aware of my safety in terms of the welding and arcs and all that kind of stuff and proper eye protection. But I was able to film a couple little things. He also had to cut the underbelly of of Wendy to be able to weld parts to the frame because we have that covered underbelly. Also took the stabilizing scissor jacks from the back and moved them forward a little bit to make a little room for the hitch. But it all worked out really great and so far have just loved every minute of having it. In the past, we have carried our bikes in a couple different ways. We started by carrying them on truck, on the, the F-150. F-150 that could. <laughs> With, we, my brother brought me a Decane, I think that's how you say it, yeah, I'm not sure. If I'm wrong, please forgive me, but a Decane bike rack, which basically just goes on the back uh, truck bed. What am I? Tailgate. Tailgate, thank you. On the back tailgate, and the bikes just kind of sit over it, and it holds them right there. And that yeah. did work really well for us it for does. a while. It does, and we actually have lots of people that commented on that, and if you're interested in carrying your bikes that way, we have a link down below for you. I still have it, and occasionally we still do use it on the new truck, too. Yeah, it's, it's very handy. Yep. Next, we decided to put a hitch on the back of the van, mm -hmm. and it was like one of the breaks that we took in Kansas City. We decided that they needed to go onto the van, and so we bought a hitch rack. Um, it, we just got it off of Craigslist and if we could do it all over again, we would get a much better one. In fact, you can look at some of the ones that we're looking at That's right. down in the comments below or down in the description. Um, but that it it did work for us. And it still and does. It still we're does. We're still using it. It yes. is not ideal, yes. but it, it does work. Yeah. You know, there are some things and I've heard some horror stories from friends like Adventures with Chance who yeah. They had the same kind as we does, and his actually like just cracked, cracked and fell, and fell and over and drugged the bikes on the yeah, trailer so behind we him. We hope so that doesn't happen to we're us. We're gonna keep a close eye. Fortunately, I can see the bikes in the backup camera rear view camera yeah. that from you know that I have from Halo View. So yeah. it's uh, but handy. now we get to carry them on the back of Wendy, yep. which is this is really fun actually. Yep. The only downside is we don't have a second vehicle right now, so I can't get footage of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. There's no drive-by footage any longer. Right. But there are other ways that some people do transport their bikes. In fact, if you transport your bikes in a different way, leave us a comment below. I'd love to hear how you do it. Um, some people put a rack on the back of their bed, the truck bed, that's yep. kind of lifted on top, on top yep. of it. So you can still have your cover, but transport your bikes as I've well. I've seen even some on top of the cab part of the truck even too, like way up yeah, high. That's yeah. like super tall. You could do that on top of a second vehicle if you had one also. Yep. You carry bikes. Let us know how many bikes you have and how you carry them in the comments below. Yep. All right. And if you've got a recommendation for a rack that you really love. Yeah, we're in too. the market. Yep. <laughs> so we've been on the road for almost three years now, and we have gone through several bikes. The kids mostly, but also we had yeah. one stolen, as you yes. guys have been around know about. Chloe might have gone through the most bikes three of all of us. She had a really small one with training wheels. Yep. She upgraded to the one she has currently. Yep. But she also had a WeHoo trailer. The, yep. And then we have the tag along bike trailer. And now we have trailer. The, the trail along. And <laughs> Which I love all of those yeah. things. They're all, especially the two types of trailers. The WeHoo is fantastic. It's a company out of Golden, Colorado, which is close to my heart, if you guys know. <laughs> uh, but also the trailer bikes have been super fun for her also. And there'll yeah. be links for all of these things down below too but yeah. I mean really we have gone through a lot and like we have said we had one stolen so you if you're gonna have bikes you got to really make sure that they're locked up really well everything is locked up with a, ca a really strong cable but also two u-locks you can get u-locks all over the place I prefer the kryptonite brand it's just one that I've had for gosh more than 20 years it's solid yeah. still and then when we're you know here uh, are at a campsite or something like that. Yeah, I'll take them down oftentimes, but right now with them being on windy, I just leave them up there. It's yeah. a lot easier, we but it still them. gets locked up. Yep. Yeah, we do tarp them so that if it rains or whatever, it can, or in the desert when it was super dusty, it keeps the dust off of them too. Right. Thank you to Cliffs for your incredible handiwork and making a customized hitch for us. Yep. We are really enjoying it. And letting it. us film the process yes, too. Yes, letting us film it uh, and everything. It was super fun. So. Yep. We have more coming, right? That's right. Yeah, there's still more. Two more videos left to go still. Wow, yeah, it's been busy and <laughs> a lot of neat stuff. Yeah, so stay tuned this Sunday and we'll, we'll see, see you out, out there. there.